Hello world, Leon here, and this is how you connect your Unity WebGL project to a wallet such as MetaMask. So here's a working example. I'll click login. There's going to be a pop-up to select your wallet. In this case, I'll select MetaMask. It'll tell me to sign in to verify my account. I click sign. And this will sign me into the next scene. And in here, I can call a contract or I can send uh, data to a contract. So if I call a contract, I'm going to pull in data from a smart contract. This will be four. And I can send um, and update that value by clicking confirm. I'll do that later. So let me explain how the smart contract works behind the scenes. So here is the smart contract. The contract is called increment. There is a public variable x is equal to zero and a public function called increment, which will update that value from zero to one, two, etc. So let's get started. So to get started, I'm going to create a new Unity project. Save it on my desktop, good enough. Next, I'm going to import the SDK by double clicking, import. Next, I'm going to set up the build for WebGL. So under scenes, oh, under scenes, there are two, there's mobile and web. I'm going to uh, open web, go to file, build settings, and this will be your first scene. Add to open scenes. Next, I'm going to go to a sample scene, a blank one, and this will be my second scene. So the first scene will verify user account. Once they're logged in, it'll go to the next scene. Now I'm going to switch the platform from uh, standalone to WebGL. Switch platform. And lastly, change the player settings. And under project settings, I'm going to change the WebGL template from default to Web3GL template. Okay. So that's done with the build. I'll build this later. Let's uh, set up the sample scene. Now that I'm inside of sample scene, I can go to prefabs. Inside of prefabs, I can go to WebGL and I can simply drag and drop these prefabs in. So I have two, call contract and send contract. So I'm gonna call, I'm gonna drag in call. I'm gonna send in uh, send. So the call contract uh, pulls in data from the blockchain and displays it. The send contract uh, updates the state, for example, sending uh, Ethereum. The last piece is if you want to change the network from testnet to mainnet or whatever it is, uh, go to uh, web3gl template. Under here, there is a file called network. I'm going to drag it in. And uh, you can change the value here. Uh, in this case, it's four for Rinkeby. You can change this value from one, three, you know, any of these, any of these values to change the network. Now that everything's set up, I can just go to file, build and run. I'll call this demo. Save. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Now that everything's built, I can go through the process again of logging in. And a mask, sign, call contract, four, and send contract. And in this example, I'll confirm, which will update the value. So I'm basically calling the increment function here. So that value is going to change from four to five in a bit. So I can go to the transactions and see it update in a bit. So now the transaction is confirmed, I can go back here, click this button, a call contract, and it'll update from four to five. So how does this work behind the scenes? So if I go back to the project, under the prefab, there is a object called call contract example script. Double click here to see. And you have a few uh, variables. 
So let me pull this up. The goal of the call button is to get the value of x. So to get that, you say, what is the method? Um, x, which is here. Next is the ABI. And the ABI can, uh, can be found uh, here, ABI. If I click this, it'll copy um, the ABI. Keep in mind that you need to have a backslash in between uh, before the double quotes. Next is the contract. So this is the contract I deployed on testnet. Uh, lastly is the arg or the arguments. Um, there are no arguments in this case. It's just uh, getting a variable. So it's just an empty array. And lastly, uh, call this function. So webgl, web3gl.call, you pass in all of this um, and you get the response. And I'm displaying this, this response in the button. So that's how you call the contract. So how to send. Same thing, under uh, send contract example, there is a script, I'll double click here, uh, very similar. The method is gonna be called increment, right? Increment. Uh, same ABI, same contract, no arguments, a value, this is a value in way, if you want to send uh, ETH, um, you pass in a value, in this case it's zero, and you call web3gl.send, pass in all of this, and that pop-up should appear to confirm and send. And that's how it's done, thanks.